The ECB this week are unlikely to do very much, but Christine Lagarde will have to address the fact that the Eurozone economy is struggling even more than when they last met in December. And that's because, of course, the virus continues to rage, restrictions are being extended in many European countries. And so, although in December the ECB extended and expanded their QE programme, they will, of course, need to look ready to do more. But then fiscal policy really needs to take over here, and that will be the message Christine Lagarde wants to get across. The 750 billion euro recovery fund can finally now be dispersed to the European economies this year, but there's already an argument happening over how and when in each country. The government of Italy is falling, the Netherlands government has uh, resigned, and of course there's now a new leader of the CDU in Germany who is not definitely going to be the Chancellor candidate when it comes to September's election. Political risk is rising in Europe and the ECB, as much as they want to show they will do whatever it takes, know that whatever it takes won't work. So it's over to the politicians. The US presidential inauguration on Wednesday is the moment Joe Biden gets to declare 